What's up, YouTube? I'm Andrew with Nautilus Spearfishing. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to convert your neuritic pole spear into a roller pole spear. That's right. I said it. Come on over. So check it out. We got here the neuritic uh, roller kit right here. Oh, yeah. Looks pretty sweet. When you buy this kit, uh, I believe it's $90, you get your butt piece with the uh, roller attachment here. You're going to get uh, this little nice cable piece for your float line or maybe you can use that for a breakaway setup. So you have a few options there. So you get this nice piece here. You're also going to get, of course, your band with the uh, lanyard so it's nice and easy to grip it because you got a lot of power here. That way, uh, you know, you don't get a freaking baseball uh, melon bruise on your hand. And of course, you got this little guy here to use as uh, kind of like they do with the G-strings. So it holds the uh, position of the bandit while you have it loaded. Uh, and don't waste any oxygen while you do that. But let's do a quick, uh, quick thing here, guys. I do not, I do not have the uh, the uh, version of the pole spear that comes with this attachment. So we're gonna actually use one that we're not supposed to. Don't worry, CJ. I'm not loading it. It's fine. I'm just gonna show YouTube today how to do this. So we're gonna take off the back piece again, guys. This is not the proper attachment. I actually have a neuritic bantam here. This is actually the the piece for the old big blue. It has the same threading but it's not the correct piece so please do not use this attachment if it's not uh, if it's not uh, for the uh, proper pole spear so for instance this piece can only be used with the uh, version 1.0 big blue but I'm just gonna show you guys how to rig it so we'll pretend that's supposed to go there alright so you would basically thread on the back piece what you would then do is with the band you got you would slide it through right through that back piece here where the cams at so you would slide that back piece all the way through. You want to make sure you have some pretension on here, and that's what a lot of people ask when they buy this uh, when they buy this kit. They're like, "Okay, I got that through. Now how the heck do I give this thing any pretension?" Now, if we work our way up, uh, most of uh, these uh, um, neuritic pole spears, you'll notice they have ridges on the body of the pole spear. This is anodized aluminum, so it's actually very slick. Uh, here, but since you have these ridges, you can actually hook it up to some of these ridges by utilizing a piece of Dyneema. All we did here was uh, create a loop knot big enough that we can pass the knot through it and we leave a little piece of Dyneema towards the back section. So what I'm going to do here guys is just kind of loop this around. So I pass the, uh, the, the, back, the rest of the Dyneema through it. So basically all I've done is just pass the Dyneema through itself. You'll notice here it kind of likes to slide around a little bit. It's, you know, it's kind of sliding but once I get to the ridges it actually locks in place there. So what I'm going to then do is I'm going to do a self-constricting knot, the same thing that you would do on a spear gun band. So you create two loops there and you want to go back through the loop that you created. So it kind of looks like a little heart almost. So you see you have the original loop and the Dyneema loop. You're going to go back through the Dyneema loop. Self-constricting knot, the tighter you pull, the tighter it gets. So then I'm just going to tighten it, tighten it, pull. Tighten it, tighten it. It gets tighter and tighter. You may want to burn that edge off. I'm not going to do it for the video. So then what you would do is you would find out how much pretension you want on this band. Uh, ideally, I mean, you can do a low power setting, which would probably be the closest set of ridges. So we'll do that. We'll, we'll stretch the, the band a bit. Grab onto one of these ridges here and let the band pull back and check it out. We have we have some pretension on there. Go ahead, Oscar, back out so the so everybody can see here. You want to make sure that this piece of band is lined up uh, parallel to the pole spear. If you actually look at it, it's perfectly, perfectly parallel to the pole spear. At this point, don't worry, CJ, I will not destroy your pole spear. Remember, guys, this is a demonstration. This back piece does not go on this should not be going on this pole spear. But all you would do is grab the lanyard right here and you would pull on it so you get it uh, you know you, you can probably go to about the second piece you can probably go up to this third piece if you have the proper pole spear don't do it with the uh, with the one you know with the one that's not it's not supposed to be on so I find this to be the most effective way to do it uh, if you want you can even stretch this out a little further up if you can get to the ridges the other option this is a quick way of doing it the nicest way to do it would be to get some heat shrink and, and uh, wrap some heat shrink over this pole spear that way it has better you know better contact uh, you know for uh, for the Dyneema piece to lock up on it now another thing that I discovered while kind of messing around with it come here, come over here real quick Oscar 
um, uh, most of these neuritic pulse spears on the on the on the front section here have this piece of cable. Uh, this piece of cable comes with a rotating swivel. You can actually tie off not to the pigtail, but to the bottom end of the swivel. So uh, let me know what you think about this, CJ. This was just us messing around the shop the other day, and then you can stretch out this Dyneema piece. And then what you could actually do, your anchor position would be here. Your pretensioner would be whatever length of Dyneema you want to use. And then what I would do with this, you wouldn't need this piece anymore. So what we would do is we would technically get rid of this guy. So we would get rid of this dude right here. I'm actually going to use some pliers real quick. Okay, so we would get rid of that guy. We wouldn't be utilizing this piece anymore. And then what we would do is, we would then do a self-constricting knot. Actually, this piece of denim is too short, but you would do a self-constricting knot on that piece, and that would give you your band stretch uh, or your preload. So I don't know, guys. That's uh, I think the easiest way to do it. So if you don't want to mess around with heat shrink, uh, you don't have the time to do it. If you're you know, or if the heat shrink rips on you, this is a nice quick way. You can utilize the ridges on the neuritic pole spear with a piece of Dyneema cordage that's not too slick that has the outer sleeve has to be maybe not as slick as some of the ones out there if you want email me I'll let you know which ones work really well uh, and this is a good way to easy quick uh, get your pole spear rocking and rolling roller pole spears gonna give you a little bit more power it's gonna give you a little bit more range and uh, it's the wave of the future man so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video we got more of them coming up. A lot of love. We'll catch you later, YouTube.